how you guys doing today? Um, in this video of Everything SoCal, I'm going to be showing you how to paint your surfboard with um, board sticks and frog tape. Only two things you need and it goes by pretty fast. Alright, so as you guys can see, we have all our materials set up. I did this red portion before along with this green, blue, and red section as well. And what we're going to be working with right now is going to be this little blue section right here. I want it to come out like this guy. And um, we'll peel off the red tape, I'll show you how to remove the tape, and then we'll get forward with how you um, actually put this paint on. Alright, so now that I got that frog tape off, you can see what we're going to be working with a little bit better. So what I'm going to want to do is tape over this little black line that Firewire puts on that on their nano board. And then over these black lines that I put as well, really make a tight barrier around the um, area you want to paint. And then you can actually see I did this before. And the paint, it's been about a year and the paint's finally just coming off, so I'm going to do a fresh coat. A little bit of wax and salt water helps the um, paint come off a little bit faster too. So just make sure you let it dry and let's go for this next round. Alright, so as you guys can see we got this all taped off, off the black lines, and now we're going to go ahead and use our board sticks and go ahead and get this guy painted. Alright, I'll let you guys be the judge. Um, I just got this on here. Looks great. Came out a nice even coat. I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry for about 20-25 minutes and then we'll be right back to peel the paint off. Once again, these are board sticks. I highly recommend them guys. I mean, they're really cheap. They come in a variety of different colors um, and they start at $7.99 I think. $6.99, perfect. Yeah, so I mean it's super affordable and if you really want to do something cool with your board unique to make it different than your friends, then I would definitely recommend checking this out. Alright, so we're back and the main things you want to check when you're going to remove this tape is to just lightly tap your fingers around, make sure there's no sticky spots. You can actually see visually, I'm not sure if it'll come up in the camera, it'll look a little bit darker almost where it's a little wetter. But I believe we should be good to remove. Yeah, it feels pretty good. And I have nothing on my fingers, so let's go ahead, grab a corner and just lightly pull. Should come off fairly easily. And it looks like perfect. So you can see that first line coming out great. Let's go ahead and get this second one up. And you just want to be sure to pull your point straight up. You don't want to smear any colors. Especially if you do do multiple at a time. You have to be careful of your tape lines. And then we'll come over here and do this last one. Let's actually slide. Go straight up with this guy. All right, and there you guys have it. So I'll give you a full overview look of the whole board, how it comes out. And this is the spot, focus on what we did right there. You can see that some colors come out a little bit better than others, such as the blue and the red, and the green kind of does leave a liney, weird, almost still wet looking mark, even though it has been dry for about three, four hours. However, this is just a cheap, really easy, fun way to decorate your surfboards differently than your buddies and make it definitely a fun experience. Once again, I was using frog tape and board sticks. You can find any of these at pretty much your local surf outlet shop, um, frog tape, you can get at Home Depot, any, any store really. So, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video from Everything SoCal.